Hello guys, welcome back to the crew, Waltron. Driving our cars, part number 12 already. The BMW M5, which comes with a performance spec and a drift spec. Kind of a sleeper. 4.4 B-Turbo V8, 560 brakes horsepower, and it kind of looks like a family sedan. although it has lots of power. Interior look ruined. The dials and numbers are invisible at daylight with their latest tunnel patch that they made there. If you go through a tunnel the lights uh, interior on the dashboard they go on and that's all cool but they kinda ruined it for some of these cars so they might have to repatch that. And this is one of one that suffers from it. It's not with all cars, but this is one of them. It only has a performance spec in the uh, normal specs. Gave it a bit more sporty look. Uh, carbon spoiler. I kept it pretty simple. Sort of kept it a sleeper. Uh, not a big wing on it or anything. Some black rims. And a blue color, which I kind of... Uh, Sporty blue, prefer on my sport cars. And it also comes with an uh, extreme spec, which I just noticed I have in the same color, so I uh, might have to change that. The normal um, rims here I have on it. Yep make it a bit darker. That's the full stock so we'll go with this one. Three official colors as you can see that's how I do things. Put uh, official colors and uh, rims on the cars. I don't make a mess of it with flowers and stickers like uh, I see some cars out of there. But that's all uh, personal opinion. Or personal taste. Uh, as you can see 1236 this is not at 12.99 yet. Uh, I don't have all drift cars at 12.99. I do have all the rest of my cars at 12.99. Meanwhile, so after uh, well, it's about six months now that I play. Three hundred and five kilometers an hour, um, which probably will be uh, the USA version in that case, because here in Europe, due to some uh, law or whatever, these German cars, BMW, Mercedes, are limited to two hundred and fifty kilometers an hour, or. Uh, 155 miles an hour. There are some performance packs where you can kind of uh, take the limiter off, and I believe in Germany that is allowed. But here in Belgium, for instance, it is not allowed. Point point uh, V8, so it has quite some power. Uh, anything we can compare with uh, them? So, thinking that we already tested uh, V8, we have an Aston Martin Vantage V8 S, uh, 510 brake horsepower. So, this one has 50 uh, more. That did uh, a time of 24.2 on the one mile drag rate, I think. We'll see what this one does.
It is a bit heavy though. That might be an issue uh, handling wise and so. Going through the list here again. Uh, like I said, I have all cars at 12.99. That means in performance spec, uh, over 70 cars, I believe. So you have to go through that list. I know that there are some people out there who uh, downgraded a few cars to 12.97, 12.94, so that you have the favorites on top of your list. That's how you have to do it uh, if you do a lot of PvP, which I don't. I played uh, about 16 nights on PvP, and yesterday uh, will probably do a video on that later. Yesterday finally made Platinum 1 status. Off we go. Spinning wheels, spinning wheels, third gear. Up till third gear it spins wheels that cannot result in a fast time. Twenty four point two. That's um, sorta of in the range of the other V eight, the Aston Martin Vantage. So they are sorta of equal, although this one has fifty brake horsepower more. Let's see how it handles in uh top speed wise on the downhill section on that little track that I created there. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Spinning wheels. We're in third gear meanwhile. So it spins wheels in the first three gears. That's not a good thing. This comment that I'm giving, uh, I haven't mentioned that maybe, but I always think uh, sort of competitive. Can this be used for time attacks? Can this be used in summit events? Uh, hello. It's uh, pretty heavy, the weight balance is not, uh, definitely not right. Yup, and here we go. Just like the M4, uh, it tends to break out giving you oversteer. With the M4, it's fun to drive and uh, controllable. Due to the weight, this one is uh, harder to control. Also, not really diving into the corners. Let's see if we throw it in here. Oh, no, no, no. Understeer, oversteer, the whole lot. I am thinking that uh, this car tends to go into a drift all the time. And some understeer here. But it has a drift spec, so that might be a good thing. For that, but uh, not for this performance spec. Acceleration. <laughs> not. Oh my god. Jump's not good either. Might have been a bit. Uh, let's see, on a straight jump. Oh. <laughs> lifts off the front wheels 390 something also sort of average the better performance go over 400 there yep spinning wheels drifting spinning wheels heavy oh <laughs> okay ready for takeoff Mm -hmm. 
The Aston Martin Vanquish had a weight problem. The handling was not that good, but it had a pretty really good acceleration. That's not the case with this one, so also sorta of average. Which kinda makes me think that in performance spec from the one that I've tested so far, we are uh, 12 videos into this uh, series. This gotta be the worst. It's heavy, it goes all over the place. Um, oversteers, understeers, some corners. Nope, I do not like this car in performance spec. There might be worse cars out there, but uh, a Bart Alfa Romeo, Aston Martins, BMW that we have tested so far, this one is the worst by far. So let's take out this thing. Since the performance tends to drift and break out on you, it might be a good drift spec. I'm sort of thinking here now. Drift, that means uh, manual gears bring down the sensitivity, linearity, speed factors, all the lots, I bring it all down and we switch to wheel settings, although I play with a keyboard. That's how we do things here. Sort of make the system think that I play with a wheel. Alrighty. Pretty smooth. Yeah. I think I can already say right here and right now the best spec for this car, the drift spec. Uh, this is the current track running in the uh, qualifier. Let's see. Um, second gear, I suppose. Well, there is traffic, of course. We are in free drive here. Uh, you uh, throw it around, flick it around, controllable. Spinning wheels, drifting all over the place. But hey, we're in a drift pack, so that's not a bad thing in this case. We're not talking about times here, we're talking about points. Are you gonna lose the multiplier easily with this thing? I do not think so. No surprises. So it does what it has to do. Other way, other side. Yep. Basically do with it uh, whatever you want. Okay. That's the problem with these free drive things. You start skill tests where you don't want them. You can remove that uh, by... Do not uh, put the world spots on your map or something. Okay, third gear it spins out, so... Uh, best to stick in second gear, I guess. Move over with your little van. Oh yeah. Can't see a thing of these dials. Hello Ubisoft. This one has to be repatched. Can't see the speedometer. On the dashboard. It is a big and white uh, car, that's for sure. But we can flick it around pretty good. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, let's quickly do a drift trial. I think it was one of the cars we could use. Uh, it's the Olympics qualifier here at the moment. Oh, meanwhile I'm fourth by doing um, these videos, seeing that there are all free drive challenges, they count for the summit events as well. I've scored 363,000 in the RX-7, which is uh, sort of my 
preferable drift car seeing it is small and easy to flick around as well and hardly ever you lose multiplier with that thing let's see what this one can do let's put it on hood cam second gear and off we go still on uh, the drift settings with the wheel I'm not playing with the wheel but uh, as you just saw uh, I make the system believe I do by choosing the wheel controller type This is the first time that I use the M5 on this circuit. I have been messing around with it, which also uh, gave it some parts going from 749 to 1236 because this is not 1299 car. The corner here. Mm -hmm. 69, 99. Okay, first go. Multiplier at 99. So this is definitely a good drift pack. Big, big difference with the performance pack. Seeing that was kind of, to my feeling, the worst car that I've tested so far. So best pack by far, the drift. Still winning parts for this one since it's not a 1299. Equip. We'll change it later when I have all the parts to, uh, I don't know, speed normally, but maybe grip for a drift pack. But this seems pretty okay. It is big and it is wide, but you can easily flick it around. So, uh, drift pack, yep, way to go here with this M5. Performance pack leave it in the garage or just hang out with it in free drive because also there it tends to go into a drift in every freaking corner so uh, time wise you're not gonna do super times with it because it always wants to drift but since it has a drift spec it's one of the betters that's for sure i will see you guys in the next one and bye for now